Hello, I'm Sarah. This is Sassy Life Story. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an empties video. Um, so I've got a whole big bag here of empties from the month of April. There are a couple of things I believe in here that are not emptied that I'll talk about. I typically like to do these videos in order um, of like when I generally use things, but I think we're just gonna go random. So let me know if you're watching this video, do you prefer to see things in order like face cleansers and then mists and then serums and then um, sunscreens or moisturizers and then sunscreen and then body and then hair. Let me know, do you care or do you not care? Because I would love to know if you care. Um, so I'm gonna start off with this thing that I finished most recently. So this is the Eve Lom Gel Balm Cleanser. That is a tongue twister. And I hate the smell of this, so I used it on my face a little bit. The actual cleanser is okay. Um, it is a, so gel balm, it kind of comes out as a thicker gel texture, so that kind of gel balm is a pretty good description. And then it turns into a milky texture um, with water. So it does rinse away and emulsify pretty well. I will say it leaves my face with a little bit of a feeling on it like it's left a little bit of something something but it's not like a whole film that i really have to like hatefully wash off with something else and take forever to get off um it comes off really easily with another cleanser or you can kind of just leave it and it's not too bad so really the issue with this was the smell i hate the smell it was terrible i used it on my face at first so I could have a good idea of how it worked like it did fine cleansing and everything but then I finished it on my body like even on my legs the smell is just so intense that I can't take it um, I don't know what it smells like but not something I like so it's gone it's used up it was only 3.2 ounces so not too hard to finish it up quickly and we're moving on from it this however I loved um, and this has like a light fresh kind of scent so not the same scent as that cleanser this is the eve Lom moisture cream and this was lovely i loved it i use it up pretty easily um, which is surprising for me like using up moisturizers for some reason i feel like is difficult for me um, but i loved using this at night um, or even in the morning if i needed that extra bit of moisture because it was kind of a not super thick um but definitely had a good a good thickness to it. Like if you're super dry, this might not be the only thing you can use, um, but for my skin that's more normal dry, it was really nice. Um, so if I was using it during the day, I would not use a hydrating sunscreen over it, but at night it was a great layer um, and I really enjoyed it. It says it contains fast acting hyaluronic acid to help noticeably reduce and prevent lines and wrinkles. So I don't know that it did that, but I really liked it and I would wake up in the morning still feeling like it was there on my skin helping um, keep that moisture in. Both of those I got on sale from Birchbox, I think maybe a while back. So I was trying to just make sure I used up those because I knew they were older and they are a more expensive product typically, but I, I bought them on sale. Then I have the Harry's Dry Scalp 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, this is something that there was some like set or something you could get from Harry's. It was like this and a body wash and a shirt from Entire World, I think, um, a little while back for like really cheap. And so I got it thinking that my husband might try the shampoo conditioner and he really didn't. So I used it up. This had a very like fresh pine forest. I don't know if it's pine, but like that kind of a scent. I don't see anywhere in here that it says what scent it's supposed to be. And it has like an elephant on it. So I'm not sure exactly what scent it was supposed to be, but it definitely smelled like intense and fresh and green. Um, I used this as a first cleanse. So I kind of like double cleanse my hair often. I have very thick hair and I probably need to get a cut of some kind at some point soon because not because it looks bad. I think my cut is still holding on strong from last September, but when I got it cut, I feel like it was a lot more manageable um, as far as the thickness of it. The person who cut my hair did a really wonderful job. She's in Oakland. Um, her name is Tiff McCall, um, M-C-C-O-L-L, -L, I think is her last name, McCall, um, at Edo Salon. She's lovely if you live in the area. But 
back to my story about this, I use this as my first cleanse before my another shampoo. So when my hair is getting, you know, right now it's getting more thick again when it, she first cut it and for a while I didn't really feel the need to do that. But when it is very thick, it's almost hard for water to even like penetrate in. So I would use that kind of as like a first step to even just get water in there and then follow up with another shampoo. And here is another shampoo. So this is the Fat Boy Daily Hydrating Shampoo. I believe that I purchased this from an Ipsy deal at some point with the conditioner, um, which is also in here. And these were both fine. Um, I don't have any complaints about them. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much I got them for on sale, and I'm not sure how much they cost normally. So I can't really speak to that. But they did both clean and um, condition my hair well, so I didn't really have any complaints about them. I feel like they were good, and you know, if they're reasonably priced, I could see myself buying them again. But right now, I do have two like giant bottles from Kristen S. So I don't really need a new shampoo and conditioner anytime soon. And that's that. Okay, this is the EO Essential Oils Bubble Bath. Um, eucalyptus and Arnica. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Um, this actually came in a two pack and I still had a little bit left in this one, but I opened the other one and just poured the extra into there because there was room. So I was like, perfect, I can get rid of this bottle. Um, it looks terrible because I have hard water and I just couldn't stand looking at it. I don't take baths very frequently. And when I do, I typically like mix a bunch of things. So I'll mix in this and a bath bomb or this and something else. It does smell nice. Um, I think it's supposed to help you feel better. I'm saying that, but I don't see anything about that on here. So I don't know. I kind of thought it was supposed to be like good for muscles or something. Actually, maybe I'm thinking of my Dr. Teal's, whatever that is, like the salts. So I don't know what that's supposed to do. Just bubbles, smell nice, who knows? Um, no complaints, it's fine. I have another one, it's still in my room or my bathroom. Uh, but anyway, it's a good mixer with other things, I think. On its own, it's just okay. This is a sunscreen I used up. This is the Troy Aruke accent uv protector essence um i believe this is my second one that i used up it came in like a buy one get one free um let's see we got a little bit out so i can show you um what it looks like there you go um so this is a very expensive sunscreen and um that sucks I don't know that I would fully recommend it unless you don't mind spending a lot of money on your sunscreen, which maybe you don't, um, but you wanna make sure you're still applying enough sunscreen. So that's part of why, like at the incest, if the sunscreen is expensive and you don't use enough of it because it's expensive, so you don't wanna waste it, then it's all down the drain anyway because you're not getting the sun protection factor that it says on the bottle. So this is an SPF 50 plus PA 3 plus, which means that the like broad spectrum factor isn't there as much. So that's not the best, but this is a really nice um, texture. It kind of goes to like a water gel kind of texture when you start rubbing it in and then it absorbs really quickly and easily. It looks delightful. It has no white cast for me at least. Um, I assume it probably doesn't have a white cast on most people because I think it is that chemical sunscreen. I don't think there's any um, physical sunscreen ingredients in it. But of course, your mileage may vary. And I really liked it. I'm probably not gonna buy it again unless maybe someday when I use up a bunch of sunscreens, they have that two for one deal again because I think it's something like $50 or something crazy. And I just love trying so many different sunscreens that I can't buy super expensive sunscreens all the time, only sometimes. But I'm glad I got to try it. Then I have the EOS Shea Better Shave Cream, and I am getting rid of this because I never use it. I believe this was sent to me by Influencer a long time ago, and it is nice enough. Um, it's got a good little pump there. Um, it smells fine. So this is supposed to help your legs feel moisturized after, I believe, as well, and I feel like it did do that. So if you use a shave cream, like this one was pretty good, I just never use a shave cream when I shave my legs, so getting rid of it. This is a facial cleanser, so this is the Fancel Mild Cleansing Oil. This is a first cleanse, um, and this was delightful. I almost feel like I used this up a little while ago. I mean, it was this month, so it couldn't have been 
that long ago. But as far as using this, it has a nice um, texture. It's not too thick or too thin. Um, it didn't have a smell that I disliked. It emulsified really well and didn't leave a film behind. It didn't sting my eyes. Um, it cleansed everything off my face well, but I will say like I don't really wear super heavy makeup right now. Right now, literally, I'm not wearing any makeup, um, but most days, if I'm wearing any makeup, it's probably something pretty light, um, but that was really nice. I did enjoy using it. I believe I have just these two body washes. I mean, I used up two body washes, but anyway, I have two body washes. Um, this is the Harry's body wash that actually came with that shampoo, conditioner, two-in-one, um, and this is the fig scent, and my husband used a lot of this as well but i used it too because we both really liked the scent and i would totally repurchase this again i think i can get it at target and we did really like it it's the fig scent i don't know if i think it really smells like figs although i guess off the top of my head what do figs smell like i know what they taste like but what do they smell like i'm not sure um but we did both really like it um oh it says it contains notes of fig blood orange and cardamom so this is nice it says it has no sulfates parabens or dyes if that is something that you're looking for um, i believe it's fairly reasonably priced like maybe it's like ten dollars or something but i've only bought it in that set so i'm not sure exactly how much it costs but i would totally buy this again it lathered really nicely and it cleaned off well and it cleansed my skin great and my husband liked it so all around a winner um, this is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel Long Name Body Wash. Um, this is the one that is in that scent that smells, well, some people, I was going to say really nice. Some people like it, some people don't. I do, I did like this scent for a while, and then now I feel like I'm just kind of in this phase where I don't like it as much. It's just strong, so I feel like I'm in this phase where I'm not enjoying it as much as I used to, uh, but we did use it up. I basically just wanted to like alternate it with something else so that I didn't use it every time I showered because that was a little bit much for me. Um, it wasn't like I did this and then the next day a different and then back and forth. It was just like when I felt up to using the stronger fragrance, I used it. And then if I didn't, I used something else. It is really nice. It cleanses well. It's kind of expensive for what it is because I think it's something like $25 for this. I mean, I guess it's 13 ounces, but how much is this? 16 ounces but it's kind of expensive um but if you like the smell i would recommend it it is nice um then i have a body conditioner from lush in yognog um i think that i had this also in a lotion no i had it also in a body wash um and i think i liked the body wash better the body conditioners from lush are basically like a shower moisturizer. So you're supposed to cleanse your skin in the shower and then apply the body conditioner and then rinse it off and then it leaves behind a moisturizing film, which I don't love. I think because I don't like when things leave a film on my face. I just associate that with the film on my face and don't like it. However, I used it up, it was fine. It does smell like Christmas and eggnog and caramel um, and it does it does leave moisture behind. I just don't know that I love it on my skin, the like film situation, so. This is the Wamisa by Glow Studio Charcoal Chai Tea Pore Refining Glow Pad. This is exfoliating pads. What is the exfoliator? I can't find it very easily. So anyway, this was exfoliating pads. It's totally empty, I used them all. I actually like didn't use these fast enough on my face. I don't remember if I used any on my face, but I didn't get around to using these fast enough and they were expiring. So I just ended up using them on my body and they actually are fairly nice for that if you want that because they are pretty big. Like they're, they fill up this whole container. So they're bigger than a normal um, exfoliating pad that you might buy. I have a lot of exfoliating pads from different brands and I'm trying to use them up and not really buy them again just because of the waste of the pad and I just don't use exfoliators that often. Maybe I'll come back around to them again, but I have some a bunch of exfoliating pads, so I was glad to use those up on my body. They didn't really do anything bad and I mean my skin is nice, so you know, no complaints there, but I probably won't repurchase them 
because I didn't use them on my face, so I just don't even know what they're like on the face. I'm now gonna go through um, some sunscreens that are not empty. So I have the Super Goop Zinc Screen SPF 40. So this is a mineral sunscreen and it has a light peachy tint. And I don't like this sunscreen, um, not because of the tint, although I will say when I used it um, with actually the white version of this dress that I made, it did discolor the neck of the dress. Um, which has mostly washed out, um, but I will say if you're using it to be careful of your clothing, I would probably just only apply it to your face and not your neck. Use a different sunscreen for your neck. Um, but I didn't like this. Something about it just irritated my skin, actually, um, which it says it's a non-nano zinc oxide. I'll just show you the um, color there. So it says it's a non-nano zinc oxide, gentle enough for even the most sensitive skin. Um, and applying it on my hand actually isn't the same as applying it on my face. When I apply it on my face, something about it just irritates my skin. Um, so to be honest, I'm not really sure what's in it that is doing that because there isn't a full ingredient list on here. Um, and I was trying to power through and use it, but it did expire last month. So I'm just going to go ahead and move on from it because I didn't like it. And I did use a fair amount of it. Let's see. Did I mark on here? No. Um, I did use a fair amount of it because I was trying to use it. I didn't want to waste it, but it just didn't agree with me. Um, and then I was going through all my products and this is the Aromatica Aloe Mineral Sunscreen. And this is not expired. It actually is not supposed to expire until next year. Um, but it's totally uh, separated. So this is an SPF 50 non-nano zinc oxide sunscreen. And I remember actually liking this because um, I did use it a few times at least. And it was nice and it wasn't too drying. Um, it didn't have a white cast on me that I remember, although it has been a little bit since I had used it. But I was just looking at my sunscreens to see if I wanted to um, try to use any up that I didn't have in my bathroom. And I picked this one up and I heard the noise of liquid inside and I instantly knew that it was off um, because it's like a thicker cream and it's not a very liquidy product when it's not expired. So obviously this did expire even though it said says it hasn't reached its expiration date, it has expired and it's separated completely. Um, if they still have this, I might try it again in the future just to see if it works still the same way I remember it because if it does, I feel like it's a good um, physical sunscreen. Speaking of physical sunscreens, I don't like this one. So this is the Kula Mineral Sun Silk Creme Sunscreen SPF 30. And this one leaves a white cast on me. This one leaves a white cast on me and I feel like it's a little bit, I don't know if it's drying. I just remember not liking it. Um, it has zinc oxide in it. Uh, let's see if you can see that. So I don't know if you can see, there's just a light um, like white cast to my skin on my hand now. I didn't like this at all when I used it because um, I have had a few of these little samples and I've tried to use up some of them and then I was pulling this one out and realized it expired last month. So I'm just not even gonna try using it because I know I don't like it and it's expired at this point. Physical sunscreens are so difficult for me. Then I have a, what I think is another physical sunscreen. Yep, zinc oxide, 16%. So this is the MyShell Sun Protection Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50 broad spectrum. This one has a little shaker ball in it. Um, so you do need to shake it to use it. And this one was fine actually, except that it was too dark for me. So, and it expired two months ago. So I did use about half of it. Um, I, I had marked it in the past and I've used about half of it. It was fine. So it is in this you know, glass dropper packaging, which I will say I don't love for a sunscreen. Um, and it does have a tint. So this is the, what tint is this? The nude light medium tint. Um, if there's a lighter tint, I guess I could try it at some point, but um, it's just too dark for my face. And one of the issues that I find with sunscreens that are tinted is I tend to not use them as my main sunscreen because if I put on enough of them, it's just too intense. And this one being too dark, I used pretty sparingly over another sunscreen typically, or um, like over a sunscreen that had a white cast even. So just because of that, I wasn't using it fast enough and it expired. However, if the color works for you, you might like it, or if you apply makeup over it, um, 
I don't remember it being too drying or too shiny. Um, so it was kind of like a neutral sunscreen, which is fairly good um, for most people. But I am doing my best to not have those products that I needed to clutter just because they've expired. Um, I do have in here a two cleansers actually. So this is an Yves Lam cleanser and this smells like the other one too. Um, and this one is a like balm cleanser. I just hate that smell so much and this one does leave a film on my skin when I try to use it. So I used about half of it and am just getting rid of it. I don't even want to use it on my body, which I was thinking I might try to do and I just couldn't couldn't take it. Um, this one is the Emma Hardy. Uh, it's sorry, it's got water in it because I had it in the shower to also think like maybe I'll use it on my body. But this is the Moringa cleansing balm, and I also disliked this one. Um, the scent on that one was fine, but it left a film on my skin, and I just don't like that. These two are primers from Becca, the First Light Priming Filter and the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid, and they're the first light one is like empty and the other one is close to empty and they're just old. So, um, and I don't really use primers very often. So I try to use them and I'll try them and see like, do I like it? And I just don't really. So anyway, they're gone. We're over them. Um, I have a little La Satin, um body shower oil. Um, so just a body wash, basically I use that up. I have two little polishes. So I have the Lancer, the Method Polish, and the Dr. Brandt Microdermabrasion Age Defying Exfoli Age Defying Exfoliator. These companies with their products with the really long names. Um, I use these both up on my body because I don't really like to use physical exfoliators on my face very much. I think I maybe tried them both on my face and then just used them on my body. They're fine. I mean, I don't have any complaints about them. If you like physical exfoliators on your face, um, you could look into those, but I just don't typically. So I use them up on my body, like my, my feet and my knees, my legs, that kind of thing. And last but not least, I have the African Botanics Resurrection Cell Recovery Serum. Um, this one like doesn't open. So I just one day was done with it. And this is a retinol serum, um, which I feel like from the name, I did not realize at first. And then on the bottom, it does say retinol. Um, so I'm pretty sure it does have retinol in it. I got this in one of my um, subscription boxes at some point and I did use it up. It was nice. It was a kind of gel texture kind of serum. Um, so a little bit more than a watery texture, but not a cream, um, as far as I can remember, <laughs> since I just randomly ran out of it. Um, it wasn't like I was using it all the time, um, because I do believe it does have that retinol. I wasn't using it like every single day or anything, um, because my skin can get sensitized really easily. And then it was just done one day when I went to use it. So overall this was good i like their products but i know how expensive they are so i'd probably just get a retinol from somebody else if i was looking for one and at this point i kind of have a bunch of other acid products that i'm trying to like slowly work through so i'm not really in the market for a full retinol kind of situation like i have like an azelaic acid i still have a bunch of those exfoliator pads so it's hard to think about like using those and a retinol um so as far as things go I'm probably not going to repurchase that at any point soon, maybe someday, um, but the brand is really nice and luxurious if you like that. <sighs> okay, that was my empties video. I feel like I've been here forever. The dog I'm pretty sure wants to go on a walk, so I'm going to go do that. Thank you so much for watching. Um, you can always check out my last empties video. I actually did two months in my last empties because uh, I think in February I didn't have very many, but January's I did just January empties. So go ahead and check those out or even my older empties videos. I've been doing them for a while. I really enjoy seeing what people think about products that are fully used up. If you enjoy that, definitely check out my videos. Um, I definitely anticipate having a lot less empties for May, but we'll see. You never know. I'll see you next time. Bye.